Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager. Now in uh, normally what I do at the beginning of these videos is give you sort of a brief summary of where we left, left off in the previous video as well as maybe some things that we're going to be taking care of in this video. But it's going to be a little bit different here because I've actually fast forwarded to the end of the season. So we've run the, the most recent video had round eight of the championship out of 10. Well, I've actually run round nine and 10 offline um, and did not record those. And the reason I did that is because essentially the team championship was already wrapped up. You know, barring some sort of major catastrophes at the final two races, we were going to win the team championship and we were going to uh, have the opportunity for promotion, which of course I'm really interested in. So I was more interested and more excited about the idea of moving up to the next tier. Um, and so with the championship well in hand in tier three, I decided to go ahead and just finish those last two races up. I will tell you that Rodriguez won both of those races. Um, you can see on the screen here, Sergio was second in the championship and now he's he finished up third. And that's because of round nine, really where uh, he got into a wreck and you know had to come in and do some lengthy repairs or not necessarily a wreck but he got into an accident on track with another car um so he had to limp around lost a ton of time then we had to do a lot of repairs and all that so he had terrible round nine uh, round 10 he was back on the podium so things were back to uh to normal but uh he ended up just a couple of points out of second so everything was good as far as the team standings we ended up with a huge lead here uh with the championship well in hand so the screen we're looking at now is I just finished up round 10. So the season is now over, but we've not gone through any of the off-season stuff. And that's what I really wanted to focus on for this particular video. We're going to look at the off-season stuff because I'm pretty excited about this. This represents um, a lot of changes. Okay. And um, I did a, a few things during uh, the time off camera uh, during the races of round 9 and 10. And one of the things I did was I decided that um, I wanted to try to keep all of the staff around that I could in the transition to the next tier up, uh, not because I thought I would still have the, you know, one of the best staffs. You can see here we're third uh, as far as staff goes in the European racing series. So I have no um, expectation that that's going to be the same thing in tier two. However, for now, I really want to to spend this first season in tier two trying to get used to the way things run. You know, do the races generally run the same way as tier three? What differences are there uh, in the way they go, in the strategy, that kind of thing? Uh, and I didn't want to get into spending a ton of money to try to roll over staff if I didn't have to. And besides that, I know we already have the best drivers on the grid here in this series. And then if we come in and look here, uh, I can tell you I've already extended Sergio's contract for another year. OK, and he got a pay raise, which was the only way I was going to be able to sign him, uh, which was perfectly fine with me because he's three star and can get into the four star if I can ever get some buildings to uh, actually help him along that that uh, that process. So he's a good driver. So I, I had no problem. Besides the fact uh, of that, there is if I go into scouting, there's really not a whole lot there for me to pick up as far as big time drivers. Now, here's the one thing I was not able to do. If we take a look at the staff, I've extended everybody one year uh, or that it needed to be extended. So uh, he was already at 13 months or, you know, a, a year remaining on his deal. So I've extended everybody one year. We're going to just try to figure things out in this next season. Then we'll make a decision of do we really want to keep these folks? Do we need to upgrade uh, for the new tier or, or what have you? Now, the one thing I was not able to do is I was not able to do anything with Rodriguez. If I click on renew contract, he says he's not interested. He wants to join, join a higher championship, which makes sense. I mean, we're talking about a guy here who is a four-star driver out of five. So at a minimum, he belongs in an upper tier, uh, tier two team. So I've got a feeling I'm going to have to pay hugely to keep him on the team. Uh, and I believe we'll have an opportunity to do that. Now, we've got the remainder of December to get him signed. OK, and that's important because once he becomes a free agent, number one, he may not want to resign with us at all. But once he becomes a free agent, then you get into signing bonuses and that kind of thing. Uh, which I don't want to pay if I don't have to. I'm trying to keep the money so that we can upgrade headquarter buildings and that kind of thing. 
So I'm very interested to see if we can uh, re-sign him because we've got to get that promotion. And then once we get the promotion, it will show us as an upper tier team or tier two team rather. And then hopefully we'll get a shot at renewing his contract. But we got very little time to do it. So let's go ahead and get started. One thing I want to tell you is I did go ahead and upgrade our telemetry center, or at least got started on that process. You can see it's going to take 17 more weeks. If we come in, um, one thing I know about the tier two, because I was looking a little bit into their rule set, and they have spec engines in tier two. So that tells me that we're not going to be able to use our, our test track to be able to upgrade motors in the next tier, but uh, we'll have other opportunities. And so I know that another big component of racing is your acceleration. So we're going to have engines that will sort of be set to the side for top speed. But then we got a, a focus on acceleration and also brakes is something I want to deal with uh, and get going on designing those and getting those better as well. So we're going to have some unique challenges coming up, but I'm ready to get going on them. So telemetry center is upgraded. It really didn't cost me near as much money as I was expecting. Uh, if I come right back over really quickly, you can see I would love to upgrade the factory. $15 million would love to do that so we can get some more staff working on reliability, particularly at the beginning of a season. But it's $15 million. Uh, the design center really doesn't open up anything for me uh, that I'm interested in right now. I mean, we'll get to that. Uh, you know, $12 million, uh, of course, really isn't worth it to us right now because you're going to have spec engines at least for the first season that we're in tier two but the telemetry center i believe was only eight million uh so a good deal cheaper than even this one and then when i've got my eye on is the break r d center which is also eight million so those are some things i've got in mind we'll see how it all works out and if any of it becomes worth it okay so we've got a few emails here so he is now champion so he gets a morale boost, and it's going to last 50 weeks, which should take him through most, if not all, of, or yeah, at least most of next season. Not quite all, I don't think. So that's going to be nice. Hopefully we can re-sign him. And quite frankly, I'm thinking, because I don't see a whole lot, you know, if I come into scouting, I don't see a whole lot of drivers out here that I'm just going to be able to sign. I mean, if you look here, uh, I mean, I got a three-star driver here that I could probably get. Uh, I'm not sure what what that would cost. But if I've got an opportunity to sign a four-star driver, that's going to be huge. Okay, so we're going to see how it works out. I've got a feeling I'm going to have to pay a lot more than some of these salaries that we're seeing here, but I'm okay with that at this point uh, without it getting too ridiculous. But if I have to pay 800000 per race, I think I'm good with that because he's such a quality driver and does such a good job for us. But, you know, financially, we'll have to see how that works out. It may be uh, the beginning of the end by doing that. But hey, it's a game. Let's have fun with it. All right, so we've got contracts that are running down. We, we know that. Okay, so we've got our car repair complete, which is irrelevant to us at this point because we don't have anything uh, to do before we get ready for our next season. All right, and here we go. So we've got a uh, couple of news announcements let's see what we get manager of the season okay for the first time it's not going to be us how about that we finally win the championship and we don't get manager of the year so interesting there driver of the year also not for us and then we've got okay another news story so nothing we're too interested in there all right now the prize money let's go ahead and see what we get there wow 13.75 million we'll definitely take that so that is huge. Now, remember, we're also going to get another $7 million when it's time to develop our next year's car. So at this point, I'm going to come into our HQ, and it's time to build a new building. Now, again, I'm not going to spend $12 or $15 million here, but I do want this brake facility. So for $8 million, I'm definitely in for that. Okay, it's going to take 14 weeks, which isn't too terribly bad, actually. Let's go ahead and get that going. Okay, so we're going to be spending lots and lots of money during this offseason for sure. So we still have $9 million remaining, so we're still in excellent shape there. All right, let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Okay, now we've got an email promotion opportunity. This is the one I've been waiting on. 
Congratulations on winning the title. Now it's time for the big question. Do you want to make the step up? And absolutely we do. That's, that's our next challenge. So let's go ahead and accept that. And it says that 2019 rules are now effective. I, I told you, I already uh, took a look at the rules and I know that we're going to have spec engines, but it looks like we're also, they voted in to have spec rear wings. Of course, that really doesn't affect us because we don't have the building uh, for the wings. So that's okay with us. That's just less that we have to spend our, our time and resources on. Okay, excellent. So now, if we come in here, you know, you can see there's not anything going on. That's because we haven't gotten started on the new car yet. But what I'm most interested in is now that we've gotten that promotion, and let's see on the home screen what it shows. Okay, yeah, event one, Singapore. Let's look under the calendar. Okay, yeah, this is a very different schedule than what we're used to. And I noticed at the bottom here, there's actually an oval on there. That gives me some hope for some other things such as modding and maybe some expansion to the game. So ovals are in here. Let's see. Okay, the first race at Phoenix is on a road course. So yeah, it's showing us at tier two now. Let's go ahead and see if we can renew. Yes, all right, now he's interested. So let's go ahead and start negotiations. We don't have much time. So I'm, I can go ahead and tell you, I'm going to be uh, pretty aggressive with this because I want to keep him. And let's, hey, let's put the pressure on, you know, because this is going to kill us financially. Right now, we've been paying him 526000 and I don't think that's even going to come close on him. So let's go ahead and, wow, uh, how far do I jump this up? Let's start. Okay, he wants a long-term contract. I'm definitely interested in that. And let's look at our bonuses. I'm still, I may go a little higher than that, actually. But we'll see. All right, so let's make his bonuses, both of them based on getting to the podium. Uh, let's see, he didn't have a qualifying bonus, of course, in Tier 3 because we didn't qualify. And then race bonus, 9,000 for 6th or above. Okay, we're definitely not that. These aren't very important, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this, but I do want uh, a bonus there. And let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead. 767. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I can always try to get a, uh, a money driver here that would basically offset the driver cost from uh, Sergio and then, or not exactly, but more or less offset that, and then we wouldn't have much driver cost. But I'm hoping, okay, here we go. We're going to get a response from Rodriguez, looks like right now. All right, excellent. So the contract looks great. Let's sign it on the dotted line. Oh, that is exactly what I wanted to see. Now, yes, it's going to cost us a lot of money, but again, uh, he's probably beyond anything that I could get otherwise. Let's go ahead and get that signed. Oh, he was even unhappy at the cost per race. Wow. And he's still accepting the offer. I really like that. Plus, another thing that it does is it really allows us to miss the sign-on bonus. If you sign in a free agent, they're generally looking for a sign-on bonus. And a driver like Raphael is probably looking for a sizable sign-on bonus. So it probably saved us at least a million dollars in a sign-on bonus. Excellent. That is wonderful. So now, yes, it got a lot more expensive for us, that's for sure. But now I think we're all set for the preseason. Let's go ahead and see what we've got here. It should be time to set up everything for our next year's car. Excellent. All right, let's do that. Let's get started there. All right, so we've got $7 million, which I'm afraid is not going to do much more than scratch the surface. But the good news is we've got about $16 million overall to spend. Now, here's something I really want to try this year. I, I want to, in this season, I want to pay more attention to the stars we get. And I'm going to try to minimize the amount we spend here and focus on, um, if you're familiar with the game and, and followed me in uh, the previous videos, uh, around this time of year in the off season, you'll know that the way this works is I get to choose one of these sponsors in each of these categories. Okay. 
And then each one of them obviously has a certain amount of money that it costs you. And then as soon as that's done, you have a random chance. The game has this has a random chance of you getting various emails. You might not get any emails. You might get two, three, four of them during the off season. It's essentially where one of these suppliers will contact you and say, hey, we figured out a way to make some improvements, but it's going to cost you some money. And it's usually anywhere from a half million dollars to a million and a half or so. So I'm going to try to save some money for that possibility. And we're going to see how each of these different options affects the number of stars in the various categories. And I, I don't want to overpay because like you can see here, I mean, we go from 3 million to 11 million. That is huge. Uh, and so we've got engines. Now these are spec parts, which makes it a little bit interesting. Uh, improvability is strong, but we can't do any development on engines. So if I look here, improvability really makes no difference. Fuel efficiency would be the only thing that should matter. And again, even that is a little, a little interesting, a little weird, because these are supposed to be spec engines. Now, I'm going to go under the assumption that they have four manufacturers, uh, approved manufacturers of spec engine. That's the way I'm going to, approve, going to approach this. All right, so fuel efficiency there. If we go to the top one, it's just two stars. So essentially, if we got one of those emails, which would increase us a full star, then that would put us up ahead of this one. I'm going to take that chance, quite frankly, because these are huge numbers. And I, have, I don't see any reason, uh, particularly because the improvability really means nothing. You know, weak and very weak and all that kind of stuff. And, and I'm not going to spend that much extra money. So we're going to go ahead and stick here with the fuel. Uh, we're probably going to do about the same thing. Let's see, 650,000. Uh, fuel efficiency is very strong here. Okay, the difference is about 3 million. Okay, yeah. It's not, again, it's not huge. Fuel efficiency here. Um, wow. Wow. I'm not I'm not sold on this. I'm going to I'm going to stick with this for now, but this is one I might consider at least going up to this tier. Because I do know that fuel efficiency is something that has has done well for us um, in the previous series, so maybe it will carry on here as well. All right, our material supplier, let's see, we go from 2 to 11 million. Wow. Tire wear is very strong there, but again, that's 11 million. That is out of my budget right now. So let's see, weak, medium. Okay, I would consider this one. Uh, tire heating is terrible on all of them. Wow, this is this is tough. I'm actually, because see, if I go here, then you can see I'm at roughly, you know, we'll call that one and a half stars. That's, you know, a little over two, maybe two and a quarter stars at best. So I'm going to, I'm really seeing no reason not to do this. You know, maybe choose this one uh, and hope that we can get another star. Let's I'll tell you what, let's go ahead. Let's leave it at here and see. We're only at 5.6 million so far. So that's not bad at all. All right, brakes. Uh, who is the supplier we're going to go with? Tire heating is strong. That's good because that means we can get the tire heat and the performance where we want it without having to have our drivers push the car. So that will help out with tire wear. All right, I like this number here. Medium as opposed to weak and very weak. Uh, so I actually like this number. I like this a lot. Uh, because I like the tire heating. I, if we don't have to have the drivers push, then that means tire wear gets a lot better. All right, so we're at 8.6 million out of 16.2 million. So we've got a little bit of room to wiggle here. The question is, do I see anything that I really want to spend that money on? And the answer for me is, yes, I found one thing, and that's right here, the fuel. I think for a few extra million, I want to go with medium here, and we'll go there. I'm not sure about improvability because I'm not sure how that factors in to anything, but really what I'm banking on is that we get some emails that say, hey, would you like to improve this and this and this? And we'll see how that goes. So let's go ahead and finalize that. We spent eleven and a half million. It could have spent way more than that, but we didn't spend too terribly much in any particular category. All right, so they're going to go ahead and get started on that. Our HQ. We've got two buildings that are thirteen and sixteen weeks respectively away from being done. 
All right. Oh, and here we go. We've already got an email. This is what I was hoping for. So we've got a few news items that we're not going to worry about there. All right. For brake supplier. Okay. looks like everything gets ramped up with tier two. This is kind of what I was worried about. And it says here we received some release or received some interesting news from our brake supplier. They can make incredible gains in tire heating, but it will come or it comes at a cost, of course. Two and a half million dollars. Wow. To get that one extra star. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Now, this is probably going to keep me from doing anything else, uh, but I like this. OK, I'm going to try to focus on what we do well and what we're going to try to do well are gearboxes for acceleration. And then we're building the new R&D center for the brakes because I because I want to do brakes well as well. So we can get our tire heating and tire wear uh, where it needs to be and really focus on that. So we're going to go ahead and spend this money here. OK, so now we're at 2.2 million. So if we get any more emails, if they're of that same amount of money, we're pretty much out of luck. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm interested to see on the calendar, uh, when is this first event? March 14th. Okay, so we're still in December, so we got plenty of time. So that tells me our HQ is gonna be up and running, or should be anyway. Okay, so far no new emails, which is okay at this point because we don't really have the money based on the cost. Okay, now we got an unread email. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so nothing really going there. All right, let's take a look at our car really quickly. So we've only got two, two stars on tire wear, which isn't great, but our tire heating is, I'm going to call that pretty awesome for us at this point. Improvability, not great. Uh, I was really hoping to get that increase, but, you know, we're a little over two stars on that, so not, not terrible. So let's go ahead and continue on. Oh, here we go. Car improvability. Let's see, what do we have? All right, we're about the car's improvability. We've had a few talks with our engine supplier and they can help us out. Interesting, engine supplier. So 1.5 million and we can get some better improvability. Now, I don't know what that means. Again, this is one of those things, I'm doing all of this for the first time. And I realize that uh, that some of you guys have, have probably played, you know, eight or ten seasons or more in the game. So you know exactly what's going on in all the different tiers. Uh, but since I don't, uh, this is a little odd because engine supplier says, yeah, we can we can work on better engine. Of course, those are spec parts. So I can't directly improve my engine. But improvability, I think, is going to apply to the entire car over the course of the season. The question is, is it worth one point five million? Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's take our chance. Okay, of course, that's, you know, spending all of our money, but let's go ahead and and take our chances here. Let's spend some money and try to get ahead of the game. All right, now we've got our opportunity. Uh, as you know, if you're familiar with the game, each offseason you have an opportunity for free to change the look of your car. You can do it during the season, but it costs you uh, well, at least in the tier three series, it was a half million dollars. I'm not sure about tier one or tier two. So we've got some new uh, some new paint schemes that were available via a, a DLC that was free. And so let's take a look and see what those offer us. OK, so it looks like we've got a few different designs. That one's not too bad. Okay, interesting. Got some polka dot designs there. I really like that one, actually. And okay, I like this one. I like number 10. Okay, the skulls, of course. You get get that in there. We've got to have that. And actually, I like I like this wave design. Let's play around a little bit here and let's see what we can get. Let's apply that. Okay, white really didn't do it. What about black? Okay, that really didn't do as much as I was hoping either. What about white here? What about black steel? Okay, nothing really stands out at all against that color. And okay, let's try this out. I do like the blue. That's one thing I do like. And what about black? No, that really just doesn't do it. Nothing is really 
standing out much at all. And if I could get this thing to stop rotating, that would be wonderful. And trim color. Okay, so that's going to be this part at the top. Okay, well, really? Come on, thing. You just stop. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, we'll go with this. It didn't turn out like I was hoping, but we'll go ahead and move forward with that. Again, I'm not... You really can't get close enough to the cars for this to be an issue. So it doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. All right, so we're almost done with the development. Uh, I'm pretty happy here. You know, yeah, we spent tons and tons of money, but I'm pretty happy with where we are. We've got our HQ that will be done very shortly. Uh, both buildings, in fact. All right, so we see we've got a few emails here. Let's take a look. Preseason testing is coming up. Okay, looks like Sergio is getting some speeding tickets, which increases his markability. Okay, great. All right, so now we are we're at a point where we're ready for preseason testing. Let's go ahead and get that started. All right, what we don't want out here are any negative things. Let's hope we can stay away from that. Um, I don't think the lap times or anything make any difference at all. Uh, oh, we got an oil leak there. And now it went away. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Hopefully it's good. Okay, so we're finished. Uh, we didn't end up with any negative things. I did see oil leak pop in there. Um, boy, I would like it very much uh, if this could be where we are as far as speed on the grid. And with that in mind, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we'll let the game save that. But yeah, that would be great if that's where our speed was. All right, so we're almost done with our R&D centers. Let's take a quick look at our emails. Uh, let's see, testing went brilliantly. Boy, I'd like to see that. Happy to report we're in a strong position for the season. And designers are ready to get going on reliability and building some parts. Boy, is that what I like to hear. Okay, now we're ready for the targets. Before I answer that email, let's take a look at our team. because. Let's see if this is any different. Okay, it's the same thing. That's what we see on the home screen. All right, we are currently ninth on the grid overall. We are, oh, wow. Drivers are third. Okay, that I am very happy about that. Let's see, our headquarters, we're sixth. So we're sort of middle of the road. I was a little worried that we would be behind. Uh, again, moving up a tier, I'm not sure what to expect. Our staff, we're fifth. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. And then our sponsors, were third. Okay, so good. On everything there, let's see where we are on car. Okay, we're ninth. That is good. Of course, engine, we can't do anything about. We're last in acceleration, ninth. We're eighth on the front wing. I'm not sure how because those were spec parts in the previous series, but somehow we're eighth. We're also eighth on the suspension and then our, another spec part there. So we're not horrible here, much better actually than I thought. And not too far from where we were in tier three, quite frankly. But, of course, the biggest thing we've got to do right now is we have got to get started on reliability. The good news is our engine starts at 80% because it is a spec part. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up our gearbox and our suspension. Because those are parts that usually take a beating during the race, particularly if you're pushing hard. Uh, I'm extremely happy about the engine already being at 80%. All right, so let's, we're going to, of course, put all, everything toward that. And let's see, we've got some, some room for improvement here. Uh, let's go ahead and, let's see, let's go ahead and improve this one. Uh, and the reason I'm only going to do one of them is because I plan to get started on new brakes and new gearboxes fairly uh, shortly. Not sure why it wants to do that. We need reliability. and But let's go ahead and queue up some things here. Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and these don't have much room. And of course, rear wings we're not going to be able to do anything with. Let's go ahead and queue up this one. And let's see. Anything else we want to deal with right now? Uh, that may be it. 
Oh, wait, I just remembered. Uh, we're not going to be working on front wings for a while. So we'll go ahead and, and start work on that one. But again, all of our focus is going to be on reliability. Okay, I'm happy here. Let's hope that they can get these done as quickly as possible. Now, we need to set up our target. Where do we think we're going to finish? I'm going to be, well, I hate to do this, <laughs> but I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive. My brain says choose this one because we're not sure what we're in for. Uh, she says we're going to come in seventh. So I'm going to go with that prediction. Fifth is way too high for me to be comfortable with that. So let's go ahead and, oh, Sergio's birthday. And I can go ahead and tell you, Sergio, we're not spending $100,000 on his birthday. Not going to happen. Okay, so our car, we're going to improve there. Okay. Looks like we're all done for this. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some parts we can design. Now, I've been holding out, and I'm still not sure. Again, just because of the income per race and all this, we're going to be in the red very quickly, I'm afraid. So let's see what we have got that we can work on. Gearboxes are, are still a million, uh, brakes, front wings, and, and so on. Okay, so if we're upgrading both of these, let's see what we can do for brakes. All right, deceleration plus 20, deceleration plus 10. Okay, reliability plus 10, not going to worry about that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. If we're going to go in the red, we're going to go, we're going to go big. But we need to go ahead and get started on, on this. Uh, of course, your first part that you develop each year isn't all that great anyway. So we just need to go ahead and get the process started. It'll be done in six days. Uh, right before our next GP, but I'm, I'm not planning on using it anyway for that. Okay, so we've got seven days remaining. Let's see where we are on our work. And very little has been done here. That is not good at all. Okay, looks like we've got our new R&D for the brakes is done. So now we've got, let's see, can we move around? Here, yeah, there's our brakes R&D over here. Okay, so we're good there. And where are we on everything else? Okay, we're almost done there. So we're, we're in good shape as far as the buildings. Oh, now our brakes are done. But, of course, that doesn't mean anything to us right now. And, wow, this we didn't get very far. I was hoping to get much farther than this along the way so it looks like it's going to be a standard uh first race for us where reliability is horrible but i think we're going to call it an episode here um i took more time on the off-season stuff uh and i figured that was more worth it because we're moving into a new tier let's take some time let's spend some money and let's get this thing going in the right direction now the key is going to be how far in the negative will we we be what kind of finishing positions can we get? All that type of thing is going on. And do we get ourselves on the hot seat by spending too much money? Once again, thank you very much for your support. Thank you for joining me on this series. And stay tuned for more Motorsport Manager.